there's a science fiction story that speaks of a, an orb or place outside of Jupiter and it's circling Jupiter and humanity finds it and finds that on this moon or whatever, I forget what the name is, there's a God and that when you go to this world, there are 12 segments and there are sort of like demigods and there's that you can petition from earth you can ask to get a miracle and so people from earth petition to this god for miracles and there's this one wizard on this world there's one wizard who gets to choose the centaurs who give birth to life like there's one main being in this world and they're centaurs it's, just, it's like a little earth right but there's all these centaurs around but because it's a closed sphere there's only so many centaurs that can have a baby there's only a few who are allowed to have a baby and the god grants the wizard the power to decide which centaur will be able to have a baby. So let's say you've got 5,000 centaurs. There's one wizard, one world. And once a cycle, at some point in time, the wizard's got to come to this place, meet with the centaurs, and go through some sort of process to decide which centaurs are going to be the ones that are able to have a child. This is a completely different worldview than how we live. And I went into this science fiction story and it, there was something about it. It was something like that, that there was a God. This God had, omnipotent, had unlimited power on this world, whatever that God thought or wanted or whatever happened on this world. But it was over Jupiter, it was different from Earth. And you could come as a human being and you could come to this world and you could, you could exist in this world and you could petition the God for a miracle. And the story is about a guy who comes to this place and he sees the wizard at the beginning of the story and the wizard's drunk. The wizard's, the wizard's having a hard time. And, and the person who's just coming to the story doesn't know anything about the weather, doesn't know anything about the God, doesn't know that this wizard, the reason why they're so drunk is because of the responsibility they hold for being the being who chooses which centaurs get to have a child and which centaurs don't. So all the centaurs look at this wizard as this, you know, the, and, the being or the one or the you know they, they cherish they, they they are in awe of this wizard but the wizard doesn't know how to deal with the power how could one person or one being or one entity have a have the choice have the ability to say well you're gonna have kids and you're not just by because I have that power. I can allow you to have a child. And the God who gave that power to the wizard, of course, knows this. And there's this relationship between the wizard and the God. Because, because the God is an entity. It's, it's not just a human being, it's a God. It, it, it runs, it's like an operating system for this whole world. And then there's 12 sub gods, demigods, and they run the place. And I remember reading that as a story. I was thinking, if you were given a power that no one else on your world had, like that's a, a wizard has that, a wizard has these powers supposedly. 
but you're given this power. But the, the hard part about the power is that you got to deal with you know, this whole world looking at you in a certain way or treating you in a certain way. And it's stories, it's fine. Yeah, there's the wizard who's doing whatever they're doing, but in real life, if you figured something out that the whole species needs to figure out, and you got it, all of a sudden, boom, you got it. It's like a Jesus or a Buddha or whoever, right? They're, they're individuals who went, I just talked to God, or I am God, or I have this God pop. I can give it to you, but you have to kind of do something. You have to change your DNA. You have to breathe a certain way. You have to love a certain way. You have to change your thinking in a certain way so that you can now access higher levels of consciousness. And there's a a spiritual tradition that has a Mahanta that is the gatekeeper, that is like the one who holds open the soul plane for human beings. And so let's say, let's say you're the Mahanta, you're the one who goes, okay guys, I'm gonna help you get in here. I'm gonna help you to go up there. I'm gonna help you to attain enlightenment or to ascend. Now, I'm not saying I'm that guy. I'm just bringing attention to the fact there is such a person and Christians will think that person is Jesus Christ, right? Like Jesus is going to be the one that brings us all in. He's the one who stands at the door of heaven. <coughs> There's a lot of different worldviews about, right? What is God consciousness? What is God? What is what is the Almighty? And prophets come around and they say, okay, <coughs> go this way, turn there, do that, do that, do that. And all of a sudden, ah! yeah, they're like spiritual masters you know, on the planet. You're sitting there, got a little Zen stick, and these students come up, go, I want to get enlightened. So you go, okay, well, you got to do this, you got to do this, but you can't kind of do anything, but you hit him with a stick and you do a thing. You give him a koan. You're, you give, you're trying to stop the person's mind. You're trying to, you got a line, so you go, well, okay, no, I can enlighten you guys. You guys can get enlightened, but the light isn't quite like that. Certain so drugs, DMT, boom, you're enlightened. You're enlightened for seven seconds. Wow. Ooh, now you're normal. Now what are you going to do? You just were enlightened, but you're not enlightened anymore. But you now know that enlightenment exists. You, TMT, fucking took you there. And if you've had that experience, you had God consciousness, and you go, ah, this is way different than the Bible. This is way different than nothing prepares you for God consciousness except God consciousness. And then God, God's going, hey, how you doing? I'm here. How you doing? And you're like, what the fuck's all this? What? What? How come it's so good here? Why? Everything's so not. Well, wait, wait a second. I can have this consciousness while I'm on the physical 3D earth. Are you kidding me? I got to be if I tell people about this, they're going to think I'm crazy. Okay, I'll just go back to my normal life and be my normal. I'll just boom, ba -doo, boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait a second. Why, why? Why I was going to, why is everyone doing these things? Doesn't seem that nice to people. Well, that's just the way the world is set up. Okay. You know, it could be set up different, right? Right? You, no, this is the way it is. But 
the big guy wants love, wants like, I don't know why, it just, it just is. It's a whole different way of being. You can be over here, you can, you can. But nobody can hear you. Can't teach it. You could look for it in other people, but it fades, fades, fades. I want it. I want it. Fades, doesn't it? Now what? You've got a bunch of psychos running the world trying to put these control measures in and you got all these awakening beings going, oh, what? <laughs> what? What, man? I mean, I think J.P. Spears, I think he nails it better than anyone on the planet. I think J.P. Spears should be the head of the news for the whole world. He seems to understand things better than most. I mean, it just gets funny. Like what they're trying to do. I was talking to a friend of mine and talking about the schools and talking, this person's walking around in a big balloon and everything's about liability. Everything's about got to protect from the pandemic. If you don't, we're going to sue your ass. So, well, if I'm in my big bowl, I didn't have contact with, no. There's this mass insanity happening now that everyone's in it because everyone's in it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? The answers are going to come from the children. Answers are going to come from people who nobody knows about. It's not going to come from the people who run the media. It's not going to come from those guys. And those guys are like, oh, balls. If you want to go take over a country, you're nuts. If you want to like rob the wealth of a nation, you're nuts. If you want to try to keep control of this whole planet of human beings, you're fucking nuts. Good luck, man. Good luck. You want to turn us into slaves? Good luck. You're going to try, 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 try. And then it's just, boom. It ain't going to work. The frequency is changing. There's a higher wave. It's catching the higher wave. These other waves of evolution are happening, but we want to catch the higher way, right? 